Yo, what's up? My name is Retro Pat, and welcome back to my Inscription Blind First playthrough. Playing through this horror card game for the very first time and learning a ton. But unfortunately, I have some bad news. You see, I recorded episode 4 and 5 of my Inscription playthrough, and unfortunately, all of the audio, all of the recordings were kind of muffled and destroyed. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly recap you guys on what I did. I went ahead and solved both of these puzzles. These bottom left and bottom right ones, I didn't have those solved previously, so I now have those solved, and I got the rewards from those. I went ahead and build a built a deck, obviously, for this playthrough, and went pretty freaking far, is it? And it, as you can see, I actually beat the angler for the first time. Super sad I didn't get that on footage, but at least I can show you guys the deck I actually completed that with, because I have some pretty interesting stuff going on here. At first, this was the worst deck I've ever built. At very first, I just had, like, the caged wolf, which feels horrible to blood two mana essentially for a six health just wall to sit there i had this thing which i didn't understand how its ability worked and i still don't fully understand but i'm kind of learning um it was terrible but then i got one of the most powerful combinations i've ever i've ever seen and it feels unbelievably op and now i have all these good cards but these cards none of these cards are even the op power up that i'm talking about now this wolf is incredible this free death card petrowski is incredible all these things right my stoat is now a one mana three three i have this guy which i haven't been able to play yet uh who could just win the game on the spot a lot of great stuff a lot of double sigils and everything like that right however the most powerful combination that i have is something to do with my squirrels and i really want to show it to you guys in an actual fight as opposed to just explaining it to you and i'm having a lot of fun with it it's felt super broken and it's a huge reason why i was able to beat the angler you see i was able to use scissors the scissor item as you can see i actually think i have uh, two more left over here, I believe. I used those to chop up the sharks after the his little, uh, what's it called? Like the grub or bait or whatever cards turned into those sharks. That's how he one-shot me last time. I just didn't understand his ability. And I've just come to, in general, I've come to understand and appreciate Inscription a lot more. I've come to understand it as a sort of more of a progression-based game than a traditional card game and how I have to kind of... Uh, do multiple runs over and over again, and I might end up doing some runs off camera, um, but that will be, any runs I do off camera will just be repeat stuff, I want to do first time boss fights and anything, any important, you know, I'm traversing for my first time through this, uh, through this new area, right, that'll always be, you know, I want to do that on camera, but uh, what am I doing here, what's the question, am I picking a free card, am I exchanging this for a card, I think that's what's happening, right, uh turkey vulture three three flyer cat i kind of like the idea of grabbing the cat magpie what is this hoarder when a card is play you may search a different card and take it into your hand oh that's actually so good um i wonder if that's worth grabbing that's actually really 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 powerful i would love to get a worker ant strategy going at some point i actually really like this the the tutor i know it's two it's two mana or whatever so it's not super ideal it's pretty slow but so this would actually show you guys the squirrel thing, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the left to not show you the squirrel thing for the time being. My pack is full. I'm going to grab a pack rat card. Sure. I'll take it. I don't mind the pack rat card. We're going to grab our net. We'll go into our next fight. And you guys can see I have a squirrel totem with the backpack effect. So whenever I play a squirrel card, I get an item added to my item pool, which feels absolutely just bonkers to me personally so what do they have the moose buck and the mole to start the moose buck to start is absolutely crazy like if i wanted to i might go ahead and actually just use the scissors for example can i even use these turn one i don't even know if it will let me no cards yeah they're actually not in this first range so i actually can't cut them yet so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is probably just grab the boulder so that when i play my squirrel i can play more cards or whatever i'm probably gonna play the boulder here sure why not I'm going to play the squirrel to get another item. Now we got the fan. Like we just get infinite items essentially looping and looping and looping. And it's just, it's incredible. Uh, I'll put the Petrowski card up here. Once that moose moves, that will be kind of a problem. And we'll go ahead and put the, uh, we'll sacrifice the squirrel to place the Kane Fisher over here. Go into combat. Pretty easy stuff. Do some quick damage. Three damage to him. That's going to block that. That is going to move over. And now I do need to go ahead and actually... So what I'm going to do is prepare for next fight. What I can do is I can grab the... Uh, I could actually use the fan instead of the scissors and then just keep the scissors. Ooh, which is more powerful becomes the question, right? 
scissors or the fan. I feel like the scissors are more powerful, but I do have two. If I give everything flying this turn, I don't know if it actually just wins me the game or not. Is, is, is it going to attack directly for sure? Even if there's a creature opposing it. Okay, I think I just... Well, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I just go to combat. Well, no, I have to get this flying. Um, I do have to get rid of this in some way. Then he has another mole to move over. I think I do have to do the fan to win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the fan, give everything flying, and then I'm going to play the other squirrel to get an item back, which gives me another squirrel, so I can just loop on that, obviously. We're going to play our frog here for extra damage. I don't think I'll need it. Go to combat, and this should be enough damage to just end the game, correct? Yep, perfect, right there. Like, this item cycling is just so insane. Being able to get a new item every time I play a squirrel just feels so ridiculously good. So we're going to continue through this new habitat that I've never been to. Elk, cat, elk, fawn. Quickly grows into an elk. I probably go cat or elk fawn here. I really like the black cat, but I haven't really been picking it up too much recently just because I keep getting the I keep getting the black goat via items, and that's just way better. Obviously, it's just the black cat, but better. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go the elk fawn. I like having the squirrel combination plus one drops because then I get an item, I can sacrifice the squirrel, play a one drop. It's just a lot of value duplicates these guys i was scared earlier in the playthrough there was a part in the playthrough where oh i have double elk fawn there was a part in the playthrough i'll go ahead and do this sure where i was really scared to um combine both of my wolves i had to do this do this was it mechanic earlier in the run and i had to combine my wolves and i was really worried i didn't want to lose both my wolves but it turned out it actually does just make them way stronger i actually really 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 like the that ability being able to combine those two duplicates like that has actually been super powerful on the two options I've had it on. There we go. Get another squirrel opportunity. So what do I want to do here is the question. Moosebuck, Mole Man. What does this do? Burrower. It does the defensive strategy. It might need, Okay, defensive plus reach. Understandable. I don't have any great... Like, I don't have any super powerful strategies here, to be totally honest. This card is not that great, but it's not that bad either. That's going to move over. I probably just play this pretty simply. I probably grab a squirrel to my hand because I'm about to use the. Uh, I'm about to need a new. I'm about to get. An, yep. Now I have triple scissors. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and then I probably just go ahead and play the kingfisher. Like nothing special really happening here. Just play the kingfisher. Go to combat, I think. And then next turn, I save scissors so I can use scissors next turn. Wow, that was a lot of damage from the. I probably scissor the moose for sure. Since we have an extra squirrel here, I could just draw another squirrel to be fair. To be able to play my... Do I want to sack all just for this? Probably not. Uh, I'll draw a card from the deck, actually. Uh, maybe I should have gone the squirrel play, honestly. So I'm going to use my scissors to delete the moose buck. There we go. Chip him away. And then I can go ahead and play another squirrel here if I want to. Which I think I do. Grab another item. Eh, it's the HP thing. Nothing crazy. This is going to get moved up. Might turn into an elk here pretty soon. Hmm. I am kind of in a weird spot here. I will say. I will say. I think I do just get rid of the squirrel to play the bullfrog. Two death tokens over here. I need four for the bat. If I can get the bat out, it would be super, super good. I think this is about it for me. Go to combat. I could do this to even out the scales a little. I don't know if I need to rush that. I kind of might, though. I don't know how much damage he's doing to me. If this turns into... I think it's doing two damage if he turns into the elf. Isn't that crazy? I almost just want to go ahead and go for it, though, just as a safety precaution. Because I only... I still have two, two candles left. Like, items, items come and go with this sort of squirrel chaining. Whereas, you know, candle lights are only going to be there so much. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go for that. I don't think it really mattered, but that's okay. This thing's going to keep getting in the way. I think I go ahead and go for the squirrel draw. I go for the squirrel draw. I could scissor up an item here, but I don't know if I need to. I think I just play the squirrel. Play the squirrel. Get a squirrel. And now I can go ahead and grab that squirrel and play it. Like, it's just chaining. Chaining once again. And now I can summon Retro Pat for the uh, summon. Like, sacrificing. I probably sacrifice... Am I going to die on HP here, though, is the problem? I need to not die here. Becomes a huge concern. I get the that thing. Uh, we're going to sacrifice this, this, this. 
play this here to kill the fawn. And then I do have the death tokens for the bat now, which is super good. Hmm. I am trying to, I'm scared to die to this elk is my main concern at the moment. I think I just play this here because I don't want it to, hmm. Do I though? I'm, it's going to die to this, which is going to suck because I don't want it to, I don't want to lose the mana resources from this. If he moves up and does two damage to me, I think he just kills me. I think I do have to kind of put the bat here, even though it's not good. Because this elk's going to move up. Actually, no, that moves over. That moves around a ton. Yeah, I, I have to tank it. That's fine. That's not great, but I think it's the right play. That's fine. Um, now I can scissor. We're going to draw a card. I hate this card. The caged wolf is so unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scissor the elk kind of aggressive but like now it's a guaranteed victory and then i can essentially very calmly attack here and then next turn grab a squirrel get an extra item just constantly having max items constantly constantly always having max items and now i can either i just stall i just wait here i just go ahead and go to combat kill that Ooh, overkill damage i've never seen that mechanic excess damage is not wasted i've literally never seen that mechanic this far into the... That's crazy, actually, that I've never seen that. The elk does move up and kill that, unfortunately. Um, Man, that card is just not good. That death card. I have to draw something from the deck. I can always scissor the one thing if I really need to. The wolf comes up. That's actually huge. So I can go ahead and sacrifice both of these guys now for the wolf. We'll go ahead and do that. It's just too, too damn good of a play. Kill him. Have permanent board presence. Uh, and now I can just fish for items if I really want to. Like, if I don't want these uh, these death tokens. But these are actually pretty good to start with. So do I want to do I want to trade one of these out for a different item becomes the question. I kind of do. I want I want to have a squirrel or a black goat over here if possible. But it's kind of a... Mm, it's actually tough. Like, I feel like these are less powerful... I don't have that many. I think I have more. Yeah, I'm going to do this to fish for an item. Get double scissors. That's fine. I feel like that is more powerful than... Uh, once again, like, we can use the squirrels to prepare for future games, which is really, really interesting. Go up to pick a new card. We've got the turkey vulture. Casey. I didn't make this. This isn't a, this isn't a death card. What is this? I've seen achievements that talk about, quote-unquote, Casey in the game. I'm going to grab this card. I think this might be the talk. The la is that the last talker card we need, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to grab it because I feel like it has something to do with the storyline, which I which I like. Um, I'm going to head to the right. No real rhyme or, rhyme or reason to that, but I'm going to head east. Get a little power up on a card. So we're sacrificing a card. We're taking its sigil, right? And putting on another card. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Could I take the Mantis God's sigil and put that on something else? That seems unbelievable. Like, if I can place it on this, whew, or just place it on something more consistent like Petrowski. Um, that's actually unbelievably good. So ridiculously good. <clears throat> I could even put it on, like, the Stoat. Man. I, I wish I could get this guy out a little more consistent. Like, I haven't I haven't drawn him to be fair. I haven't had a chance to play him. I feel like I could get him out. I hate this cage wolf card. I really want to get rid of that, honestly. Um, I don't know if I put it on the Petrowski or the Stoat, honestly. The 3-3 three, three versus the 2-2. Two, two. Man, I kind of want to put it on the Stoat. I don't know if that's silly. The big difference between... Damage and one mana... Man, 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 man. I'm going to put it on the stoat. I think having that nine damage versus six is just so significant. It give him that effect. That's pretty damn strong. This is like, once again, this was like the from the first two cards I picked, this was the weakest deck I had ever built in Inscription. And now it's easily the strongest deck I've ever built in Inscription. By far, not even close, bar none. Uh, squirrel coming up, the Elk Fawn coming out, looking as a 2-2. Two -two. It has that Corpse Reader ability. So if something just dies on the field, yeah via combat i can just bring it out super nicely i don't know how this card operates sharp once a card in the sigil is struck the striker is then dealt some damage okay i don't i'm i don't know if this card will actually be good i just thought it'd be a for the lore um uh, what do they have the moose buck is out the moose buck is out that's pretty damn dangerous i probably just want to scissor that 
I'm gonna have to waste an item here, unfortunately. Or I could just wait a turn, to be fair. There's no reason for me not to just... Yeah, I'm just gonna pass, hilariously. Kind of funny, but I think it's the right play. I'm just gonna pass. And then now what I can do... Do I grab another squirrel here? Probably, or do I draw? Probably grab another squirrel here. So that I can go ahead and scissor the moose buck. Easy peasy. Play a squirrel, get a new item. Get another squirrel. We're chaining, boys. Um, do I grab I think I might chain that squirrel. Uh, is it really, do I need to to win? I end up becoming so greedy in these matches because if I don't need it to win, I'm just chilling, you know? Um, let's go ahead and first things first, could just play the elf pawn. You know what? We're gonna chain this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that squirrel, play this squirrel. Get a... Okay, that, sure. Oh, we can even grab that. Uh, and then tr get a new one. Sure. Play triple squirrel now. We're absolutely balling out. Get double scissor once again. We can go for the magpie play. And then grab what? The Eurowit and try to play. I, I just want to try to play the Euro... I don't think it's the right play here, though, is the thing. Is the big problem. We're going to go ahead and play this and see what I can grab. Oh, I can grab this though, and that goes bonkers here. Oh, yay, I can go grab, oh, I've never been able to use this card yet. That's actually so sick. I really wanna be able to play this guy at some point. I can also play the wolf, which kind of goes hard, but I feel like this goes harder. I'm definitely gonna grab the, the stoat. Shiny, what's he, what's he, what's, stay out of my hand, bro. Uh, we're gonna sacrifice, we definitely play the stoat here. This goes absolutely sicko mode with this play. Uh, and I just put it here. Back on the board? Yeah, you're about to do a shit ton of damage, dude. Oof. Kill that guy and do three. That's so ridiculously good. The fawn moves up and does one damage. What do we draw here? Do I just win here? I definitely just draw a squirrel. I kind of want to scissor or something to get another thing. I could just scissor the mole. We're going to win anyway. I'm just cycling. I'm just doing this to cycle an item at this point. I think. And probably win me the game. This is so good. This makes my opponent skip their next turn. That was super, super worth it and super, super powerful. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the KC play here because it's going to attack both squares, I believe. So it should do that and then that and do some damage. Yep, that's GG's. I think it's gotta be. It's gotta be way over damage. Yeah, look at all these extra gold teeth we're storing up. Moving onward, once again, this deck feels <laughs> super, it's just the squirrel thing, man. The squirrel item thing has carried me. The porcupine uh, does that, has that one damage effect. That's pretty neat, but nothing crazy. Uh, I probably just go with the raven. The turkey vulture seems cool, but it's a lot. It's a lot to play that. Um, interesting though. I think I just go with the Raven. It's consistent. I I'm using the squirrels to get that extra mana. Uh, this is... I don't have any... I don't think I have any duplicates, but this is also useless to me. I'm not changing my squirrel backpack thing at all right now. I'll go ahead and go over to the... To this guy. My college. I don't have any duplicates, though. So it'll still give me a card that'll let me duplicate. i probably go ahead and do the Magpie, honestly. Because if we can get a buff onto the Magpies, that would be fantastic. Plus... It would go ahead and uh, allow me to tutor for more cards. So this is the boss battle. I've never seen this boss before. My deck is literally so strong. Can I beat this boss first try? What is his mechanic? I'm going to have to really, really think about this. Really play this. Oh my goodness. Is he, con is he a control deck? He's got all these strange frog leaping trap. Oh no. Okay, let's do our best, fellas. I really, really, really want to uh, win this my first try. I really, really hope that I'm able to. I assume that I go... I'm going to make him skip his next turn, I guess. Or I could scissor here. Oh my god, the knives in the background are actually creeping me out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Make him pass his next turn. Lay the squirrel. Get a new item. Get another squirrel. So we're chaining. I want to do as much here as humanly possible on the first turn, because I don't know what he's gonna what he's gonna play like. We're gonna play another squirrel. Get the flying stuff. Could we just kill him or go to his next phase in this one turn? We probably could actually. We probably will. Do either of these guys like run over to the position? I don't think so. I think we're actually able to kill him this 
one turn, which would be fantastic. Oh man, um, I think I can just play my whole hand actually, can't I? But I should just keep it just in case. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sacrifice both squirrels to play the wolf here. If I go to combat, I'm pretty sure I just kill him. Neither of these guys move over to a position. There's just a pelt is pretty in your hand. Wow, that's hor so that kills the thing as well. Interesting. Uh, I think I just go to combat here, kill him, go to phase two. That's so ridiculous that I can do that in one turn. Okay, his board resets. Let's see, is he gonna like skin this guy for his pelt? Let's trade. What's phase two look like? Okay, okay, oh my. What? I will accept pelts for them? The rest will stay and fight for me? Oh my god. Well, now I understand. I wish I had more pelts. Holy shit, dude. Um, oh my god. How do I win this game ever? Do I have to one-shot him here? Do I just take the coyote so I can like one-shot him? I think so, right? None of these will move in position to protect. I think I just take the coyote. I would have chosen differently. Fuck off. I think I can still win here. I give him flying to make it for sure, I guess. I think I win. I think I'm fine. Uh, go Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite enemy, when the sigil moves to the empty space, when an opposing creature is placed opposite. Okay, that's fine. I, th I think I win. I think I'm fine. I'm gonna grab a squirrel here. But it's pretty damn scary, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna give my shit flying cause, just in case, because I have two anyway, so I might as well do that. And then I can play another squirrel. I don't know if I need to do anything I'm doing here, but I'm just kind of doing it just in case. Um, Grab the boulder. Now I don't have another... Ah, I shouldn't have done that, because I, I don't have a thing to replace that, but that's okay. Place that there, sure. Um... Play the smoke. Sacrifice the smoke. For this? Get enough tokens. I don't have enough space though. That's fine. I should just win here. I should be fine. But it's so stressful. Okay, we're good. That board is insane. What an absolutely insane situation to be in. Like if I don't have... If I don't have these items... Uh, if I can't make my wolf, I guess to be fair, it's fine, but I, yeah, we just take the thing to do damage. Defeat the trapper, the trait. So I was able to, this is the first boss. This is literally the first boss. The trapper is the only boss I have fought first attempt and been able to defeat first attempt. Amalgam. It's really because my deck is so unbelievably powerful here. Strange larva. What does it turn into though? Grow into a more powerful creature. I really like child 13. I think this is the ability. This is like insane, isn't it? Multiple lives. Because this thing turns into... Actually, it's, it's kind of like the black cat, but a little better, I think. I think it's just the black cat, but a little stronger. I could go the amalgam, though. I think having just more power is kind of good right now. I'm down to just grab that. I think I have plenty of mana. That might be a little greedy, though. I probably should pick up a black cat or something similar at some point. Moving on to the next stage. I can't believe I'm actually... The end is near. I don't know how many maps there are to traverse. We'll need another map. Ooh, this one's purple. Oh, is this the end? No way I can beat Inscription today, right? Well, man, I do like consolidating my victories, especially like the, for like the bosses into videos. So this is just going to represent episode four, I believe, of my Inscription playthrough. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been so much fun. Such a unique experience. Just a fantastic card game on top of it. And there's not often, there's not many games that allow you to combine the elements of like roguelike progression with card games and it's been a tough thing to accept it's been weird slash unique slash different but it's been a lot of fun and i do really really like that um it's a it's a really really fun unique experience and it's cool to see yourself uh get better in that way card games usually rely on you just skill wise getting better but it's kind of cool to also get better in terms of gear and stuff but uh it's just a unique it's a different kind of card game it's a different experience and it's been a lot of fun it's a great single player game for that so yeah thank you guys for watching like this video if you've enjoyed it so far dislike if not and subscribe to the channel for videos every other day thanks for watching me play inscription have a great day play some games have fun guys peace